plagiarism or just ignorance? They say Hollywood is quickly running out of ideas. Forget about endless sequels, remakes and reboots. What about anime? The wide misconception is that the Japanese film industry's animated films are all just for kids, or weird adults, but this is what allows Hollywood to borrow liberally from Japan without many people noticing. You don't need identical characters, settings and stories for a film to be a ripoff. And although none of these entries in this list go as far as to outright copy, some of them get pretty darn close. There's a fine line to draw between outright imitation and artistic inspiration, and we can't speak to the intent. But when so many things line up, you have to ask yourself, is that line kind of blurry here? But we'll let you be the judge of that, shall we? My name is Rach, and we are What Culture. These are eight famous storylines that Hollywood stole from anime. Number eight, Inception and Paprika. In the 2010 epic Inception, Dom Cobb is a professional thief that specializes in stealing from or planting information in important individuals by sedating the target and hooking them up to an enigmatic machine. In Paprika from 2006, a revolutionary psychotherapy technique aptly named Dream Therapy is invented, which allows the user to enter the dreams of other individuals in order to treat patients on a subconscious level. Paprika uses the dream world's subconscious powers in an attempt to solve the meaning of a recurring nightmare that a police detective has been suffering from. The two films may not share the same plot, but the similarities between them are undeniable. Nolan's film not only features a dream machine that can enter the minds of others, but it also deals with the concept of reality versus virtual reality and how an individual can really tell whether they're in the real world or not. Number 7. The Matrix and Ghost in the Shell The Matrix series and Ghost actually share very little in terms of narrative, but the ideas and themes behind both are very similar in nature. Ghost in the Shell takes place in a 21st century Japan where human enhancement has become so extreme that the line between being human and being a robot is pretty bloody. People are able to completely replace their flesh and bone with prosthetic limbs, cybernetic implants and even cyber brains, enabling them to connect directly to a digital network that runs throughout the entire city in which they live. In The Matrix, the human race still left in the real world has been almost completely subjugated by the sentient machines, who grow and farm humans as an energy source. Humans can plug themselves into The Matrix, the computer-generated dream world that the machines created to placate the human subconscious, a concept straight from Ghost in the Shell. The film continually asks us to consider what it means to be human. Not only that, but humans that plug themselves into the Matrix are essentially hackers forcing their way into a false reality, just like the cyborgs do in Ghost in the Shell. Number 6. The Lion King and Kimba the White Lion The similarities between Kimba the White Lion and the Lion King are kinda obvious. I mean, Kimba, Simba, come on Disney, at least try and be subtle about it. Both stories center around the cub of a mighty lion that rules over the land. The pride leaders desire mutual respect between all forms of life, passing their wisdom on the circle of life to their children. Both cubs' fathers are murdered and both are able to escape their captors and go into hiding, so they can one day exact revenge and take back their heritage. In The White Lion, Kimba is found by two humans who teach him morals and the difference between right and wrong. Sounds a lot like a certain meerkat and warthog duo, huh? Fair enough, the studio that made the 1960s cartoon didn't exactly fancy taking on the behemoth that is Disney after they unveiled their 1994 film, but it did create quite a stir among those who noticed the not-so-subtle similarities. Number 5. Black Swan and Perfect Blue Black Swan's main character is a dancer for a prestigious ballet company who slowly starts to question her own sanity as she begins to witness strange events unfold before her. Regardless of director Darren Aronofsky's repeated claims that the perfect blue anime didn't influence the film, the similarities between the two are too obvious to deny that someone involved in the creation of Black Swan hadn't seen it. 
In the anime, Mima Kirigo is a successful J-pop artist that decides to pursue a change in career and become an actress. Aware that some of her music fans have become upset over the change, Mima becomes increasingly anxious as websites start to appear claiming to be her. After several of her new colleagues are murdered, Mima starts to question her own sanity and involvement over the crime, going as far as to think that she has some form of split personality disorder. Like Black Swan, Perfect Blue is rather ambiguous in how it presents factual information of events in the film, and the unsettling events that Nina experiences in Black Swan are almost identical to those seen in Perfect Blue. Number 4. Avatar and Princess Mononoke While it's true that James Cameron's Avatar shares more than just a passing resemblance to the Disney classic Pocahontas, there is another animated film that Avatar owes its success to, and that is Studio Ghibli's Princess Mononoke. Given how successful Ghibli films have been worldwide, it's hardly surprising that there would be at least one huge Hollywood film that borrowed heavily from them. Princess Mononoke was released more than 10 years before Avatar and their stories are eerily similar. It follows Ashitaka, a prince that travels to Irontown searching for a cure for a curse. Upon arriving at Irontown, it becomes apparent that the town's founder has been gradually destroying the nearby forest, the home of animal gods and spirits, for the procurement of valuable iron sand. The forest spirits despise humans because of this destruction and eventually go to war with them to stop the continuing devastation. If you think this all sounds familiar, that's because it's basically Avatar. The humans in Avatar want to harvest the valuable minerals of Pandora, home of the Navi, with the two races eventually coming to blows over the destruction of a forest world that's home to, you guessed it, a god. Number 3. Pacific Rim and Evangelion Anyone who's even remotely interested in Japanese culture will know that giant robots are as popular in Japan as superheroes are in the Western world. The sentient living robots that are the Transformers are probably the most well-known example of this fascination with mechanical giants, but there's two other franchises that exist that are just as popular in Japan. Mobile Suit Gundam and the various incarnations of the Evangelion series may be about massive robots, but they're wildly different to Hasbro's Transformers. Just like in Evangelion, Pacific Rim deals with the creation of gigantic humanoid robots that are created with the sole purpose of defending Earth from the invasion of an extraterrestrial race. Unlike other films featuring robots though, Pacific Rim's monolithic metal warriors are physically piloted by two humans from the inside. Even the way in which Pacific Rim's pilots use a neural interface to control their titans is reminiscent of Evangelion's bio-suit technology. Number 2. Lucy and Elfin Leeds Lucy centers around the titular character played by Scarlett Johansson as she accidentally absorbs a large amount of an experimental drug that grants her complete use of her brain. The film explores multiple themes, including human cruelty and existentialism. The most recurrent theme throughout, however, is whether Lucy's psychokinetic abilities and heightened intelligence even make her still human. The similarities between Lucy and Elfin Lead may not appear to be all that obvious at first, other than the fact that, of course, the protagonist both happen to be called Lucy. The anime series revolves around the introduction of a species almost identical in appearance to humans called Dicloni. Aside from possessing powers extremely similar to Lucy's in Luke Besson's film, the anime also deals with many of the same issues that Lucy dabbles in. Even with their extremely high intelligence and mental powers, Dicloni are frequently shown to be just as compassionate as humans, even with their strong tendency towards logic. Coupled with the concept of how difference is treated by humans in an almost universally negative way, Lucy may have a different disequilibrium to get its narrative started, but it certainly shares very similar themes with Elfin Lead. Number 1. Transcendence and Serial Experiments Lane 
Like many ambitious films that try to do something new, Transcendence released to a rather negative response by critics, citing the fact that its story was full of inconsistencies and lapses in logic. Will Caster, an artificial intelligence researcher in the film, attempts to create a sentient computer that can think and act for itself. After being mortally wounded by a terrorist group that despises technological advancement, he uploads his consciousness into the prototype computer and gains an almost universal knowledge of human history after connecting himself to the internet. The new and improved caster eventually gains the ability to release nanoparticles into the real world and directly control the actions of humans through them. Serial Experiments Lane is basically a more comprehensive version of Transcendence. The anime focuses on Lane, a schoolgirl who slowly comes to the realization that she's not really human, but an autonomous, physical computer program that can traverse both the physical world and its digital counterpart, The Wired. Lane is increasingly encouraged to embrace her digital roots and subsequently become a goddess that can freely control the events of both the physical and digital worlds. Transcendence's plot is almost identical in nature to serial experiments, dealing with the same concepts, themes, and possible eventualities as the anime does. Only the anime did it better and over 10 years earlier. There we have it folks, that was our list. Are there any other Hollywood films that you think share more than just a passing resemblance to a beloved anime? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching guys. Once again, my name has been Rach. Be sure to subscribe for more lists every single day. We will see you tomorrow guys. Take care of yourselves.